Today we are going to use Py Audio to play an audio file using Python. Excited? So let's get started. So guys, we are in our computer screen right now. So let's import the required modules. At first you need the Py Audio module. This one. Okay, you can install it by typing in your terminal pip install Py Audio. If you get any errors, you can see my video on Pi Audio installation error, which is on the I button right now. Okay. And next we need the wave mod, this one. And next, array. So from array, import array. Next we need pack. So from struct, import pack. Struct, import back so we have imported all our required modules and now let us create a function dev play and here file give a colons and let's first define a variable which is chunk and set its value to 1024 i will be later explaining you what this chunk is so before that let's create a variable wf equals to wave dot open first comes the param first parameter here is file so our output file is file and then give a comma next is mode and the mode in this case is rb which means reading binary so wave module will open the output file in reading binary mode now next let's create the instance of pi audio pi audio dot pi audio like this give a parenthesis and in the next line uh, first let me tell you that we are going to follow the same steps as we have followed in our recording using pi audio video in that video we have created the instance of pi audio and then we have opened the stream and then we have stopped the stream closed it and terminated the instance of pi audio so we are going to follow the same steps so just write here stream equals to p dot open and after this first parameter is format so format equals to here you need to type p dot get format from width in the parenthesis wf dot get samp width get samp width okay now after this uh, parenthesis then give a comma and the next parameter here is channels here wf dot get in channels here parenthesis after that comma next comes the rate rate equals to wf dot get frame rate get frame rate next comes the output output equals to true so we have opened our stream now now we need to read the frames okay so just create a variable data equals to wf dot read frames and here the number of frames it should read is the chunk now which is uh, 1024 which means that it should read 1024 frames now let's create a while loop while the length of data is greater than zero your colons and then stream dot write data after that data e equals to wf dot read frames give here chunk so now as we have opened the stream we need to stop the stream so stream dot stop stream stream dot close now p dot terminate so we have done our function 
now let's hear right here play and we need we need to call our function here so play and give the name of the output file okay let's first record something and then let's play it and let me just name it output one dot wav as here is an output dot wav file also it will clash due to the same naming of the files now let me just run this record dot pi file Hello, this is Addy's Technical Aid. Please subscribe to this channel. Okay, the recording is completed. Here is an output 1.wav file. Let me just play this output 1.wav. Output 1.wav. Now let me just. Hello, this is Addy's Technical Aid. Okay. It worked just superb. Now, do you want to do some automation task using Python? See the video on the left, which is the automating Google Meet using Python video. And if you want to build your own alarm clock using Python, the video on the right is the best.